Good morning everyone and welcome back to Craft Eccentricity and it's Friday. Yes it is and we're back with Eiffel Store. So today we're going to be using the largest of the snow globes. Now just remember snow globes are not just for Christmas. So I've actually done Easter um, snow globes. They just look great all year round. And uh, if you want to do a 4th of July, you can have your snow globe with the Statue of Liberty and all that kind of stuff and fireworks going on. And they just look brilliant all the time. What can I say? Next up, Gingerbread House and also the Gingerbread Boy and Girl. And there's going to be no food colouring used today. Not at all. So they're going to be Craft and White. Now, I have done these characters because I needed their eyes to dry, but we're going to finish the house and we're going to do the globe. Right. So what have we got? First of all, let me show you the gingerbread characters. There's the little boy and there's the little girl. And all I've done is um, put a little bit of red chalk on the cheeks and I use my four mil flat backs and you can see that they're they're kind of looking at each other. Isn't she amorous, bless her? Yes, she is. And we're going to be doing the gingerbread house. And as I said, no colours, just craft and white. And I've also, from this set, it comes with um, little retro type snowflakes. And you get three on a strip. So I cut that three times and I've got nine little snowflakes. So first of all, let us do the globe. So I'm going to move these out of the way and I'm going to bring my globe pieces in. Right, we're going to do a open card where I'm going to score it at the bottom. Now these are mirror image so you can be nice cardstock both sides. All you've got to do is flip it over so it's nice on both sides. And I'm going to take this one away. This is the one that I'm going to score. So I've got my scoreboard. And I'm going to score it at its, I uh, don't know what bit you'd call that, its stand. So just try and get your die in straight as you can. Just lock it in there. I keep this black, people have asked me about this black line, it's my inch mark, I just like having it there. So you can see that you could end up going skew if by doing that, you don't want to do that, you actually want it to be straight. So just give it a good look before you score it. And this is the mark that I want right here. And then that is going to open out for you so that when we stand the card up that's the bit that will fly out at the back of it so that it will stand up but for now i can put that back together right so let's bring in the top part now i'm using echo park um, it's a vintage pack and it's called sleigh ride so there's my white top this is going onto here, just dust my fluff off. So that's going to be glued onto there. And then for the base, I've used from the same pack um, a kind of chevron design and also laid over one of the pieces of ephemera that comes in that digital pack. So all it says is, I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. Now to get the curve, first of all, you do basically what I've done here and you'll cut straight across to get your base, which is this. And to achieve that curve, you just pick your die back up. I'm going to show you. And then you take the bottom section to your, your new bottom section and just cut. And then you end up with that curve there. Can you see that? So that you're not, you know, straight the way across, which you can do if you want to. It just looks nicer with a curve, I think. So with those now, these need gluing down. So I'm taking out the pin from from my bottle and uh, removing the gunk off the top. And here we go. So all the way around with the glue. Thank you. 
but I hope everyone's going to have an awesome weekend I really do I am back out in the garden again more things to plant and uh, so on and so forth right just slide that into position so that it's straight and then give it a press down and then we're going to glue this all the way down to the score line here and we're going to place this one on top so let's do that I've got a load of old trees that I need to dig out because I've got some new fruit trees come in and uh, they're not coming until the first week of January but I just like to be prepared. I get all excited. I run around the place like a gopher digging holes and then I change my mind. I think, oh no, you know, there's not enough sunshine coming up in that place. And my husband will look at me and I say, but you just dug a big hole. I say, yeah, you know, I'll fill it. <laughs> fill it before I fall in it. Right, so we're rubbing that down and then turn it over while your glue is still wet and just make sure that your kickstand is not glued down, okay? So you're lifting that up and that's what you'll look like from the side so that your card will stand just like that which is lovely isn't it so we'll just press that flat back down for now give it a good old squidge turn it over and the next thing we need to do is glue our little fancy base piece on Now, I don't know why on earth I just picked up this bottle. I've actually got it in um, this little squeegee bottle because if you want to do teeny weeny things, as you can see, it comes out in real teeny amounts. I meant to pick up my other bottle. Whoops. So I'm just going to grab this and pop this one down at the bottom. I want to make sure I'm straight before I'm committed and that's it so now we've got a lovely base on our snow globe if you wanted to add a little ribbon trim or anything like that you could absolutely do that just make sure that you're not stuck there and I'm going to turn it over it's actually it's a good idea to uh, play with this before you post it to anyone that way they know that when they get it that's basically what they have to do is just open it to stand it up isn't that great love that i do love my digital paper packs and that one is um echo park sleigh ride and i think it's one of their older packs uh, it certainly looks it and it's uh, it's a great place to go you know to get like your vintage stuff that you haven't seen for years because they're bringing back a lot of the old sets right now then we've got mr and mrs ginger up here i'll just put those out of the way i've already put those on foam so you can see the foam that they've got on the back and this piece of foam here is basically holding the head on so there they are nice and healthy no food coloring and i've got all my snowflakes i'm just picking those out of my pile and we're going to put the gingerbread house together so i'm just going to dump those snowflakes there pop that one there move that over and here it comes right so i will use this little one again because i only need a little bit so all the way down I am going to be back on um, Monday or at least I'm going to try my best to be because I do have uh, a hospital appointment on Monday but I think I can squeeze it in. I'll just have several cups of coffee beforehand and uh, then I can tell you that on um, Wednesday is going to be a big KS craft haul uh, with a bunch of cute stuff. 
so if you like chaos craft that's one to watch right here we go now we're going to need a kind of layer because this is frosting and i want it to be straight so i'm just going to pull it around for a minute and i'm going to go there so this is my big gingerbread house cookie now if you want to put glitter onto these you can do that you know you can gloss them up a bit and sprinkle with glitter that's something that i really enjoy doing and then they really do look like sugared cookies and then the houses there's a name for these houses are they gumdrop houses or something i know it's something like that and they go on with a little bit of border again so there's one house get the other one nice little border and pop that on to make sure that's accurate and it could be that my gingerbreads end up covering the trees actually and then there's one more piece of frosting here which is like the arch that goes in the door so what I'm going to do is I'm going to guesstimate where it's going to be and just put a little drizzle of glue there and somewhere around here here it is my pickup tool I'm going to grab that she says I don't know why that's not working there we go and pop that down into there so that we've got a nice little arch in our doorway right so that is the gingerbread house and now we've got to decide on the configuration so if I bring my globe over move my little gingerbreads and kind of decide where in the background so that little house is going to go and I've kind of already decided where the male and the female are going because their eyes are looking at each other oh look at that isn't that sweet bless them there they are with their brand new little house and the interest rates only 350 degrees yeah <laughs> Right, I think I kind of like that with just a little bit of tree, but I don't want him hanging over the edge. So I'm going to go for my tree there. Not my tree, my house. And I'm hoping that I've got it straight. So I'm just going to twist that like that. I can see where my snowflake piece is there. So I'm just going to pop some of this on here. Now if you've got any uh, white abalones or anything like that that's a perfect thing to go on here too and that needs to go further over there and that's about it let's have a look yeah so you can get all your sequins and stuff out if you want to Right, I'm just going to cut my glue off while we put those on and then it's just trimming it up with those snowflakes. So I'm going to pull the back off this one using Lena Craft foam tape again. Oops. And keeping him in the picture I'm going to go there. Yeah. And then my little girly. And I don't know whether I said it, but these are the 4 mil um, flat backs. Because there's only two sizes that I ever use. 4 mil and 1.5 mil. And if you can't find the 1.5, then the 2 mil is great too. 
Oh, isn't that sweet? Let's have a close up. Look at them, bless them. <laughs> ah, proud new homeowners. Now we get the snowflakes and decide where they're going to be. They can be wherever you want. And I'm going to have one smack bang in the middle of my door. Why not? And I'm going to have a big one. Right there. That brightened that up. I'm going to have one here. Kind of blending the, um, the edge to the top. I have one here. I've only cut nine of them, so I don't know whether I necessarily need to be sparing. I'm going to have a big one here. You can just dot them all around the place to kind of like unify the creation. I think that's the right word to use. I'm going to go there and there. And I'm going to have the big one near her head, I think. And I'm going to go for a small one here. And I'm going to go for one there. And that's used them all up. Of course, you can cut as many as you want to. There. <laughs> A cute little gingerbread and their lovely new house on that very large snow globe now I did do the measurements of the snow globe in the haul video on Monday so let's bend that back again make sure it stands and yes it does there you go I'm sorry that my camera kind of doesn't have the angle to do it properly but it's a great it's just a great way to make a card especially if you've got large dies and that is to just score it on the bottom and uh, it has a lovely gentle rock to it as well look at that because it's on a curve it does stand straight but when you tap it it rocks so that's a great card I love that they're great characters and I think Thank you so much for joining me today. Do have an absolutely awesome weekend. And as usual, all links below. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.